Hey everybody, uh, this is an update on my 120 gallon tank, uh, the start of a discus tank. Um, this is probably maybe <laughs> about three months uh, after I posted one on YouTube for Simply Discus on regarding my uh, my issue with my discus not growing. Um, uh, it just happened to be that the the discus that I had, the, my little pity buy, was a uh, was kind of pointless because they were stunted. Um, but anyways, I ended up only keeping uh, two of the, two of those, which happened to be uh, uh, this guy here, which is a uh, is a red is a red turquoise. Um, but um, as you see, he's like kind of stunted as well. And then uh, this guy right here, um, originally when I first when I posted that one, he was only about maybe two and a half inches, or to close to three inches. Now he's about four and a half and totally outgrew this guy right here. Um, this angelfish and um, and uh, this guy right back here uh, were with these guys. Um, they've, they've, grown a, they've grown a bit too as well. Um, we got some new new guys, new additions as well. This is a, a, a lanky or alanky um, uh, discus and then uh, this high, high body uh, turquoise and then I got these uh, two grade A um, uh, red turquoise. Uh, all four of those are from Kenny. Um, Kenny's discus. Um, I'm very lucky to actually be able to live uh, half an hour away from him in Daly City. Um, funny thing is, uh, a few years back, um, if I would have known, uh, he lived right uh, behind our old house just on the opposite end of this, uh, just on the other side of the street of our old house. It's funny that way. I was like, oh, man, this is my old neighborhood. But anyways, so yeah, so um, so this is how the tank looks like now. Um, you know, it's 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 pretty neat. Um, easy to clean. Um, so I got sand substrate. Um, uh, those guys always get beat up. Uh, they're the smaller the one of the of all of them, but that's what they always hang out back there. And plus, for some reason, uh, these guys uh, don't like the light when it turns on. They get freaked out, even though they've been on for more than an hour. Or so um, they like it just with the um, with the lights with the lights off and uh, the ambient light in the in the room. But but uh, hopefully they'll get they'll get used to it. Again, I've only had those guys uh, those four discus for about two two weeks now, two and a half weeks now. Um they eat they eat really well. Um you know, no issues with them. Um they're starting to take flake food, which is a plus. And I'll see how they go. Uh I would like to get maybe six more from uh from Kenny in about three or four weeks, you know, give these guys a good time to settle in. Um hopefully he has more of these Alanki uh um uh, strains, because uh, I think that's what all I'm going to get, because I really like those. But uh, yeah, I got some tank mates in here with them. I got um, a uh, gold nugget pleco in here. Uh, I've had them for um, I don't know about a month now, um, and the quarry cats that I have in there. So this this whole tank right now has been running for about two months, two and a half months now. Um, while this tank was broken down and cleaning it, um, I actually had the these two guys and the two angelfish in a 50-gallon tank in the garage, where I was able to do like 75% water changes every day, um, and uh, and they they grew like crazy in in that situation. Um, well, especially this just this guy. This guy, I thought he was going to die because he actually started not he stopped eating for a while but then he came back so I mean you know whatever those two are buddies um, so I can't get I can't get rid of him um, you know he's not the greatest but you know he's a survivor as you can see he looks this pig right here he looks pretty good um, again the, the, the discus from Kenny I don't know why they just don't like when the lights come on they just they just go different when the lights are off and the ambient light is on they're they're all up and about and lighter in color but i don't know uh, they just have to get used to it well you know kenny actually kept his uh fish room uh uh pretty pretty dim um but uh, uh again kenny uh that guy he has 
clean, clean tanks, clean work areas, and um, you know, I just can't, you know, can't say no, nothing bad about the guy. He has good stock. I just can't wait to uh, be able to get more fish from him. Um, so yeah, so basically my water changing regimen on this big tank is uh, um, I do uh, about 65 gallon water changes every other day, and then the day that that I don't do uh, like the six, you know, the uh, 60 gallon water changes. I only do maybe about 15 gallons of wa water just to vacuum out any uh, poop in there. Um, so basically, it's you know, uh, you know, vacuum out poop one day, and then the next day I do the big water change. Um, keeps the tank pretty clean. Um, you know, I got. You know, the, I got a lot of crevices going through there, so I mean, nothing builds up. Everything actually conveniently starts accumulating in that corner down there, so it's easy for me to gravel back. I mean, I got this thing down to maybe just like what 30 minutes of uh, maintenance time, um, and uh, and you know, and it's good. Um, you know, they got a lot of room. You know. Um, got a Corellia for uh, for extra flow. Um, you know, I got this uh, little T5 thing. I think I'm gonna put LEDs on here so they have that slow uh, slow you know turning on thing where it's a soft start so like the fish won't freak out because I mean every time I turn these lights on they freak out. Um, so hopefully in time it'll uh, it'll be all right. Yeah, uh, this guy back here. He always gets picked on, um, so, but, you know, after a little bit, he'll start swimming around with the rest of them, but, I mean, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what's going on. So, he, he, this guy, you know, so they actually started, uh, lightening up now. So, there goes that, uh, that brilliant Turk, high body, really brilliant Turk, the, uh, Alanky, Alanky one, that red has just started to been showing up the past few days. Hopefully, it's going to start you know, getting the whole body would be red. Um, and then we got this one grade A uh, red turk. Um, so yeah, so basically uh, the feeding regiment is like, I feed them probably about four to five times a day with uh, blood worms and then uh, three times with uh, with a prime reef uh, blend of uh, flake foods. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I feed them nonstop every day, um, you know. And uh, um, so, yeah, the water changes are, are pretty decent. My water parameters and the ammonia is like zero um, nitrites, zero nitrates or less than, like around five-ish or so. Um, you know, just clean out the, clean out the, the, the filters, wipe down the tanks, you know, and, and do that. Um, you know, the one thing I've actually started using is this, uh, let me get the thing on a is this stuff right here, Easy Life uh, Fluid Filter Media. This stuff is awesome. I can't, that stuff is awesome. I, I mean, I'm never going to stop using that. I'm going to buy that stuff all the time. It just makes the water pop. And it actually, uh, um, actually when I started using that, the, the fish actually started like, uh, you know, relaxing a little bit. Um, you know, and and that, which was a good thing. And um, I guess I let I want to show you my my water storage system we got in the garage. Um, see, uh, well, my garage is pretty messy right now. Got my work area here. So this is a. Uh, 65 gallon uh, or drum that I cleaned out, and uh, I got this you know hose here. I got a quiet one uh, filter in or uh, pump inside there, circulating water, splashing, and then I also got this in here taking uh, air. You can actually feel it, but I don't know if you can hear it. And I got my uh, temperature controller. Here I keep it about 84. So yeah, so basically this is what I do. Simple, just you know, fill this up, age it, and then uh, take the take it to the tank, 
and I got this hose here. Again, my my time is only like 30 35 minutes of maintenance. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, once you start get going, it's easy. And basically, that's what I had them in for shoot for close to like two months. Um, doing water changes and that, and so. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, so that's that's basically it. Uh, I'll do more uh, more updates and stuff like that, uh, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, thanks for watching.